Welcome everyone. So in this video, we're going to add reflection to this box. So let's get started. First of all, I'll create a duplicate layer by pressing Ctrl J. I'm going to hide the original image. Okay. And now choosing the duplicate layer, I'm going to click this magic wand tool and click so it selects the area around the box so you can hold the alt key and click again okay sorry it's not alt it's shift and click the area zoom in and then click again okay Click again. I think that's good enough. Now we can just press delete. Okay, we have deleted the area around the box, but still we can see that there's some of the particles left. Uh, so we can go to eraser tool and then remove the unwanted small particles we can see that this box is kind of it has kind of rough edges so for that we can zoom in a little bit we can go to this poly polygonal lasso tool click here and then click here make a shape okay and then press delete that's good enough here also we could do click here and then oh sorry uh, click here here okay and press delete Okay, now it ha it has smooth edges. Okay, so now we're ready to create reflection. Uh, to do that, we're going to create a duplicate layer again by pressing Control and J, and we're going to go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. So we have flipped the box, the new box. And we can see that there's no, you know, there's not much space for the reflection. So we're going to go to crop tool and expand the size of the canvas, okay? To make sure that we have enough space to create reflection. And hit enter. So now we have enough space for reflection. Let's bring it a little bit down. And now here comes the main part. Go to edit and choose perspective warp. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's create, click and drag to create this box. And we can adjust the corners like this once we have drawn the box. Okay, like this. Okay, create another box which will automatically join with the previous box. Okay, like this. Okay, so now we have to choose this warp. Okay click here click on warp now we can drag the corners like this okay let's adjust the corners like this Okay, it looks quite good. 
So it already has created a kind of reflection. Okay, now hit enter. After that, one more thing is left. We can see this huge thing down here. We have to remove this. And again, we can do that by going to Magnetic Lesser Tool. Click here. I'm sorry, it's not Magnetic Lesser Tool, it's Polygonal Lesser Tool. Click here. Click here. And make a shape just pull it a little down and press the lead again uh, make a shape uh, just like this okay and then press the lead now we are ready with the reflection we can adjust it a little bit by going to edit, transform and distort. Okay, just a little bit of adjustment. Okay, that's good enough. Press enter. Now we're gonna change the layer, the position of the layer. Uh, we're gonna drag this layer the top layer down below the previous layer the layer where the actual box is so the box upside down which we uh, we were using as a reflection is below the top layer okay I think we can still adjust this thing we can go to edit, transform, distort, and okay. Now it's good enough for reflection. So what we're gonna do now is choose the layer of the reflection and go to opacity and bring it down to like 55, yeah, that would be okay. It already looks like a reflection, okay. But now what we can do is uh, create a, a black la blank layer on this on the layer on top of the reflection layer and we can go to polygonal lesser tool again let's zoom in a little bit create a shape here like this like this this and we'll go to gradient tool we will go to this creating editor and we'll choose the color here. Click on this slider and then choose uh, white. Yeah, white is okay. And uh, I'm sorry, it should be black. Black. And go to the this slider opacity slider and choose like around 20 20 yeah 20 would be okay and choose color here on this slider the right at the right side and choose black and go to this slider and choose zero for the opacity click OK now drag like this and this creates a kind of shadow okay so 
something like this. Just experiment yourself. I think that's good enough. Okay. Control and D to deselect. And again, create a shape here. Like this, this, and then. Okay. I'm going to drag like this. Okay, I think that's good enough and now we can choose opacity for this layer and bring it down to around 35, okay, maybe around 30, yep, that would be good enough and one more thing we can do is uh, just below this reflection layer, create a blank layer, and we're going to choose gradient again. Go to gradient editor. This time we're going to choose white color on the left side with 100% opacity and black color, not actually black color, but kind of gray color on the right side and choose opacity and bring it to 100 click ok now we're gonna drag it downwards okay not that much but yeah something like that okay let's try the another way we can actually drag it upwards. That's kind of cool. Okay. Okay. So that's how we created a create um sorry, a reflection on this box. We can decrease the opacity of this gradient and yeah I think that's good enough so we are ready with reflection of this box okay hope you like this video if you like the video don't forget to hit like leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel